been in the industry for quite a while, so uh, yeah. computer graphics to this level didn't exist when I was, you know, going to school. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, I went to school for fine art, and then I ended up doing a bit of a, a technical illustration and computer CAD type stuff. So, so my background kind of lined up perfectly for the yeah. industry, and uh, I've actually been kind of keeping my eye out for a project in, in Europe for, for quite a while. Okay. Um, I've been in the same place for quite a long time, and I uh, had some friends that had been uh, doing some uh, working on some projects in uh, Europe and had a great time. So I kind of was keeping my eye out on it, and then I found out about this project, and uh, it was fantasy genre, which, which I would prefer over some other uh, visual effects genres. And uh, we just started talking to them. Once I found out they were in Munich, and I thought, you know, wow, uh, working on a, a fantasy film visual effects in Munich, Germany. Hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. sounds yeah. good to me. <laughs> well, still working with the team, I, I, we still have quite a ways to go. Um, there's a yeah. lot of shots. Uh, the, the visual effects um, have kind of expanded the, the, uh, the scope a little bit. Um, yeah. Some things have shrunk, but others have expanded. Um, and it's, some things are coming along very, very nicely. It's just right now it's down to a um, it's a quantity thing <laughs> you know it's just a volume I've been in Munich you know pretty much uh, geez it's been almost a year now um, but uh, it's a it's a fairly small visual effects team there's only maybe 20 people uh, do, you know uh, visual effects artists working working on the project so uh, but uh, it's a lot of work and uh, I think with everybody in a close-knit environment uh, we're able to, to get through it pretty pretty easily